Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. It's with Daddy. I hope you guys are well well. I have a throbbing, throbbing headache right now. Seriously. I took a couple of Advil's uh, just now. And it's one of those headaches where, it, you know, you feel like your brain is just like, you know, it just wants to fall out of your head. This pounding, knocking headache. But I'm hoping I'm going to get through this video for you guys because I want to do this makeup look today. I am going to be using this green pigment. This was sent to me from Dorella Cosmetics sometime back in PR. Didn't get a chance to use it yet, but I want to use this today. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I want to be able to match this with some green. This is the Lorac Intergalactic um, palette. I showed you guys this one before. So the green glitter here looks like it's something that's going to be perfect to match that. Or there's another green color over here. But we're just going to get started and we're going to see how this is going to look. Uh, we shall see. But um, we're just going to hope that this headache is going to go by the end of the video. So we're just going to get started. So again, this is the Lorac Intergalactic Palette. And I did get this from either Boohoo or maybe Pretty Little Things. So there's a green, not a green color, there's a yellow color in here called Comet. So I'm going to start with that as a transition color. So I might as well just get started before this headache gets out of control. So we're just gonna blend this in. I'm gonna do this really, really gentle because even touching my eyes, I feel like my head is hurting. So I'm just going in really gentle over my eyes right now. So with the same brush, um, there is a soft, warm brown color that's called Moon Dust. So should I be using the same brush? I think I'm going to use the same brush. And it's very, very soft and warm. And I'm just going to put this just by the brow bone, just to soften that up a little. But I want that yellow to blend in with it. All right, so this is the pigment. Uh, again, it's called Ionic. This is from Darmella Cosmetics. So we are going to use this today. It is so green, oh my God. It is just the most brilliant color green. If I'm looking this way, I've got my phone sitting right next to me. So I'm just trying to reach for a brush. I'm telling you guys, I have an awful headache. So this, this color is really something. So let me just try to reach for a blender brush. And I'm going to use the colors from the cover. And I'm just going to see how this is going to work. I'm going to dust this off on my hand. Let me just do a quick, oh, it's bright as hell. And there was loads of flyaway in here. But let's just put this on. Not bad. You know what though? I was kind of afraid of the color, but I'm not anymore. Let me just put that blender brush down and let me go, go in with my Morphe brush. I think that will do a better job. There we go. I'm dusting it off on my hand because the flyaway is just so much in this pigment. Okay, now that is a really deep green color. I may go back to that in just a minute, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna go in with this glitter glue and I'm going to put some of this on my lid and go in with some shimmer colors right now. It's 
So from the Lorac eyeshadow palette, I'm just going to take a small brush here and I'm just going to put this on the lid. So I'm going back with the neon green pigment here from Dorella Cosmetics and I just want to put a little bit more of this just up here and I'm just going to tap that in nicely. So I'm just going to use a clean blender brush and just blend out the edges. I mean the pigment is not bad to work with, not bad at all, you just have to be careful how you use it. There's lots of flyaway in it, for sure. So I feel like I want to do something more with this because I feel like I'm not really feeling it right now. So I'm going to take a blender brush and I'm going in with a brownie color. This is the Revolution Reloaded Ionic Division palette. And I want to be able to do something with this right now because I feel like I'm not pleased with it. So I'm just going to put this right here in the corner just to make this eyeshadow make sense because I feel like it's not making any sense to me right now. And with that, I'm just going to darken the corners. I think that's better. So now, that was a little bit strange, to be honest with you guys, because the pigment, there's a lot of flyaway in the pigment, although I do like it, it's a bright neon green, but I mean, you can go as bold as you can with this if you wish. So this doesn't look too bad right now, because I really wanted this green to make some sense to me. It really wasn't making a lot of sense to me earlier. So I'm just going to um, make sure my corners are nice and even. And then I'm going to go in with eyeliner. I guess the purpose of this video was just to use this um, green, this green pigment, um, just to see how I can use it. It's my first time using it, and I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't want to be criticized for just oh, you don't even know how to use green pigments. Please don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I know you wouldn't, but you know, some people can be a little bit harsh. So let me just finish up this side. So this doesn't look too bad right now. I'm just gonna go in with my black eyeliner here from Inglot. It's a cream eyeliner, and you have to use a little bit of this because this is jet black. And let me just line my eyes right now. So let me line my eyes right now with my white eyeliner. This is from the Collections brand.
Alrighty then, it doesn't look too bad. I may go in with some black eyeliner a little bit later, but I'm just gonna get my lashes on off camera and I will come back in one minute. So I've got the lashes on, and again, these are from Superdrug. These are the Pinky Goat brand, and these are lightweight, reusable, and they are silk fiber lashes. And um, they're not bad. They feel so light on my eyes that I feel like I'm not wearing any lashes at all. And I did go in with the white eyeliner. Why do I feel like I'm not feeling that white? And I think because this headache that I have right now, the video is probably gonna come across really strange to you guys. But I'm going in now with the black eyeliner. This is from the Collections brand. Let me just put a little bit of the black over the white and see if I'm gonna feel a little better. So I like the way the eyes are looking right now and I prefer the black eyeliner rather than the white one because I think the white with the green wasn't looking too good and I really wasn't feeling it. And I don't really like going in with eyeshadows under my waterline either because that's just gonna crease under my eyes in, by the end of the day because I do have oily skin. So let's work on the face right now. My skin is already prepped and I'm just gonna use this brush and this is LP17 from Sleep. This is my foundation. And we are just going to go in and blend. Oops, and that's probably a little bit too much. So we're just going to blend this right away. Very nice foundation from Sleek. Let's go in with my concealer. This is called uh, Golden Honey. This is from L'Oreal Paris. And I just want to stay focused right under the eyes. And just not too much of this because I'm, you know, I feel like I don't really like doing highlighter anymore in my skin. I don't know why, it's just a feeling. This is such a beautiful concealer from L'Oreal Paris. It's called Golden Honey. It blends so nicely into my skin and it's nice and soft as well. So I'm going to use this Revolution Peach Baking Powder and I'm just going to put a little bit in the cover. And I do have a sponge here and I'm just going to dip that in and we are just going to set. Well, we're not gonna set, we're gonna bake. So as you can see, I just tapped that powder right into that concealer and it set right away. And I really prefer that rather than just going off camera and coming back. So I'm going to be using my NW48 powder from MAC and this is my Ambi Rose brush. And we're just gonna add a little bit of color to the skin right now, just make it all nice and balanced. So not too much powder, just very, very, very little. And that looks good. I'm going to be using my Milani Bake Blush right now and put a little bit of color on my cheeks. So just like that, doesn't look too bad. I am gonna go in now with some lip balm. This red lip liner is from Becca. This is called Fun, and we are just going to line the lips right now. The thing is, when you wear bold eyeshadow, what color lipstick do you wear? Like, for example, green. Do you wear red? Do you wear 
something neutral? Do you go brown? Like, what do you wear? Somebody please tell me. This lipstick is called Red Luxury. This is from Max Factor. Uh, first time using this lipstick today. Everything is going to be linked below for you guys. Let me blend this out a little bit. Very nice, I like that. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna set everything now with the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. So what do you guys think of this look? I think it, um, it looks kind of okay. This is one of my strangest videos I've ever made because I have such a massive headache still. So I think after this video, I'm just gonna go lay down and have some sleep. But the look didn't turn out to be too bad. This again is the iconic um, eyeshadow that I got from Darella Cosmetics. It was a little bit hard to work with because of uh, there's a lot of flyaway in this, but it didn't turn out to be too bad. I really like the way the colors came together. I did go in with the Revolution palette and the Lorac Intergalactic, Intergalactic palette as well, just to make everything look a little bit sensible on my eyes. And um, not bad at all. So I'm going to leave everything below for you guys, just in case you want to pick up on something uh, that I've used on my face today, but it looks all right. I mean, green eyes and red lips, no, I'm not quite sure about that combination, but it's an okay look. I just blame everything on the headache. So thank you guys for spending this little crazy time with me today. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys. That just goes to show you, if you're not feeling well, you can still pull off a half decent look. You can still do it. So my name is Odette. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.